Hello, I'm Pauline Buffel from the IN International Union for the Conservation of Na Nature and Natural Resources, or IUCN, working in the Global Forest Conservation Program. So I do work on topics related to community-based adaptation, but not directly, um, not as such directly. However, all my work on forest landscape restoration, because it does increase resilience of communities and it can sometimes, in some cases, diminish uh, the, the, the risk related to natural disasters, makes it very relevant to uh, community based adaptation as well. We do work a lot with the forest and farm producer organizations, which are organi organizations of smallholders, indigenous peoples, or women groups. And with them, we are trying to assess their uh, sensitivity and um, to climate change. And we are trying to build their program to adapt better to climate change, including in terms of capacity, uh, in face of natural disasters, but also to make sure that the supply chains in which they work will adapt in the mid to long term to climate changes in their regions. I have just attended the session on building multi-dimensional resilience to scale up the power of nature-based solutions, for which I was also a co-organizer. Co and I think the session went very well. It was very interesting. Um, we always lack time for discussions, even though it's very difficult to structure properly. Uh, but I, I do think that we need to find a way in those uh, online conferences now to, to make some space for the discussions that we usually have during the coffee break. So maybe plan longer sessions, less sessions, but longer ones to ensure that we can share more. However, it's true that all the examples we got, even though we started very conceptually with my presentation on nature-based solutions and on, on resilience, but I think we saw excellent examples on nature-based solutions in actions from forest and farm producer organizations, very anchored in local reality. It was very much uh, grassroots community-based adaptation goes together, of course, and I think it was very concrete examples and we should never undermine um, their role and their existing knowledge on those topics. Our session uh, was also a good opportunity for IUCN and the Forest and Farm Facility to launch a new story map or long read um, on the role and the value of engaging forest and farm producer organizations in uh, nature-based solutions such as forest landscape restoration. We are trying to show the need, the value of engaging with those organizations for FLR and other nature-based solutions and also the need to invest directly in them for taking nature-based solutions at scale. <laughs>